get some more insight now from Peter Bistron from the Alternative for Germany party. He joins us now on RT International. Thanks for joining us on the programme. Good to talk to you. Um, EU politicians, security experts, Islamic State itself warned that extremists would be among the refugee influx. As to your knowledge, how easy is it for jihadists to get into Europe? Oh, well, uh, how difficult is it for a thief to enter a house with an uh, open door? I mean, this is the same situation we have in Europe now. We have the Schengen Treaty that is saying that we have to control our outer borders. We are not doing that. We have the Dublin Treaty which says that the uh, member states should registrate the immigrants. They are not doing that. We have just uh, one. Uh, we have just thousands of uh, migrants going to Germany and to Sweden, and all the uh, transit countries are letting them just pass. And what about the moves that the French government have done in the past 48 hours or so, considering extending the state of emergency to three months? The borders closed, as I mentioned. Are those moves enough? What else does France need to do? Well, this is a logical first step uh, to, to take a control of, of the own borders. But uh, on the other side, there are already thousands of immigrants in, in France, and among them is a number which nobody knows how, how high is it. Of, of jihadists. So the problem is much more bigger than just to close the borders now. And what about where you are, though? Because um, so many of those Middle East refugees, their destination is Germany. What's the feeling there about who's coming in? Well, this is a big problem, especially uh, after Angela Merkel said uh, that everybody uh, is allowed to come in. We had uh, partially no control, no registration on the border of Germany. Uh, even policemen serving at the border uh, were thinking about to make an accusation against themselves because they are breaking um, German law. So the situation is really critical. For the same token, countries like Germany and, in fact, the entire EU is being pressured not to let the genuinely desperate people who are fleeing for their lives and trying to get into Europe. So where do the checks have to take place? It's not as though Europe's borders are completely porous. There are checks. Is it just that they're not strong enough? Well, there are some checks, uh, but not on all the borders. And uh, you have listened uh, in, in your previous uh, statement. Uh, you, can, you can easily pass... Um, the border on, on places which are not controlled. Okay, for now, Peter Bistron from the Alternative for Germany Party. Thanks for joining us on RT International. Thank you.